An ex-WWE star says they were stunned by their sudden release. Plus, an active NXT star is competing in TNA Ultimate X, and WWE has confirmed Bobby Lashley's departure. It's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. Bobby Stevenson, formerly known as Damon Kemp, part of the No Quarter Catch crew, was dumped in a lake. Yeah, and uh, apparently never to be seen again by the sounds of things. That's what I thought, but thank goodness to Monty and the Pharaoh who who pulled him out of that lake, dried him off with a with a, with a hair dryer, and got him to talk about his recent WWE release. Uh, it came a week after quite a lot of positive discussions about the future of the No Quarter Catch crew in NXT, and he said, I'm just sitting on my couch, I get a call from Talent Relations. I was like, oh, okay, cool. This might be the call that I'm getting my renewal. We're moving forward and stuff like that. And they're like, hey, Damon, we appreciate everything, but we've decided we're not going to renew you. I was taken aback for a second. I was kind of processing, and I just had a great talk with so-and-so last week about all these great things and what was going to happen. I was almost stunned a little bit, and I was like, okay. And then they were like, no, no need to show up at the TV or the PC anymore. You've got 30 days. It's crazy because I was booked for TV that Tuesday. I was completely caught off guard. So I was like, I have a notification to go into work tomorrow. And then you guys tell me the day before that you're not re-signing me. So I was really taken back and really caught off guard. But there's no regrets. No regrets being there. I loved it. I go back. It's a shame. I just read before coming in as well. Apparently he'd voiced his his desire to re-sign and everything to somebody mm. like high up. And it's one of those where... I, I get that NXT has a high turnover. It's kind of the the nature of developmental. Uh, you know, if they decide they're going to go in a different direction, then I guess they're going to go in a different direction. But it does feel like he could have maybe been used elsewhere uh within nxt potentially they could have broken him off or splintered him away from the group in a manner in which they could keep utilizing him so it it did kind of take me by surprise there i wonder what he will do next i think ultimately he's the type of talent i can see going away to the indies doing a lot of positive work there maybe reinventing himself a bit before finding a a more permanent landing spot you want to think a company like tna uh, obviously a company like aew uh he'd be able to do great things especially with an aew with ring of honor there Mm. uh as you know their form of developmental i think he's somebody that could benefit massively from the right storyline the right partnership uh especially in ring of honor it feels like there's a lot more freedom there it feels like there's a lot more room for kind of just feeling out new ideas and trying new things in front of audiences rather than kind of trying having to i guess screen test it and do everything in the way that the wwe seems to like everything to be packaged as a product yeah. sort of like how a label looks for a band now that already has it's like artists they've already <laughs> got everything ready to go and out it's just pick up off the shelf and buy it done right yeah and i like those shows where you where they are clearly finding the sides a little bit and trying things out and seeing what works i think that's a big part of making yourself a star it's a in huge wrestling. part of wrestling generally isn't it yeah, it yeah. Need, you need to be that way uh speaking of uh these opportunities that come your way and one of those has presented itself for an NXT star on TNA. Yeah, so last night, Chase, you were represented on TNA Impact with Riley Osborne defeating Chris Bay and John Skyler in a three-way to qualify for the ultimate X match at TNA Emergence, which makes Riley Osborne the first ever active WWE star to compete an, in Ultimate X, which is... I, by far and away, my favorite TNA stipulation. It's just yeah. ridiculous. It's always been ridiculous having the, the, the ropes above the ring. It's exciting. He's somebody I can see uh, having a lot of standout moments within that. Uh, and just more Ultimate X, please. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I love that statistic. Like, obviously, former WWE guys have competed yeah, in Ultimate course, X but matches, active. but an active WWE guy in the Ultimate X. That's nice and new. The, the forbidden cat flap is open. Forbidden cat We are flap. moving back and forward. So uh, fingers crossed we get a lot more of this going on. I'd, I'd kind of like to see an Ultimate X match on WWE TV oh, at some point. Oh, yeah. Jordan Grace because put something like that on Twitter a few months you ago. You know that they're going to make it look even crazier because mm. they, they, I mean, like, oh, man. Like, the fight pit stuff. I, I think, like, they, just the way that WWE would WWEify the presentation, mm. uh, it would feel completely alien, but it would be exactly the same 
kind of high energy, high octane, crazy excitement that everybody comes to to expect, know and love from Ultimate X. That right? would be really exciting, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's talking of really exciting match stipulations. TNA Emergence coming up Friday, August the 30th on TNA+. Plus. That is where we will see that Ultimate X match. But it's also where we will see Nick Nemeth and the great Josh Alexander compete for the TNA World Heavyweight title in a 60-minute Iron Man match. Go on, Joshy. Oh, Go on, Joshy. It came about because they had that match uh, on Impact for the world title that went to the time limit of 30 minutes. And, hey, we're going to go again. Add an extra 30 on top of that. Oh, here we go. Iron Man with Nick Nemeth and Josh Alexander. That's going to be a banger. It's a massively tantalizing prospect, oh. isn't it? Uh, just, you know it's going to be a hell of a match. Uh, I think that Alexander's current work, turning heel, kind of bringing that edge to it has been great. I, I think that ultimately he has grounds to be this annoyed. He's somebody who should, by all rights, probably in my brain, still be champion had he not, be dera not been derailed. So I, I think that, uh, you know, you know what to expect from Nick Nemeth here. You know he's going to absolutely bring it. He's been on a tear at this impact run so far. So, yeah, it's going to be a hell of a match. Uh, Nick, uh, as well as Nick Nemeth and Josh Alexander in an Iron Man match, as well as the Ultimate X match, PCO and Matt Cardona going one on one after Cardona <laughs> crashed the wedding. <laughs> Shocking behavior. I'm worried because I know Cardona and Steph Delander are good buddies. I'm yeah. worried they might turn on PCO. Okay. Possibly, but you can't kill PCO. That's very true. Like, I've watched the guy get hooked up to car batteries. <laughs> I've watched him take ridiculous, ridiculous bumps at his age, and he seems to be completely and utterly indestructible. So Cardona's going to have to really bring it. And if they both decide to team up and, and attack PCO, they're both going to have to bring it. They absolutely are. Also, Jordan Grace is teaming with Spitfire to face Masha Slamovich, Alicia Edwards, and Ash by Elegance. Ash has uh, recently, uh, and her concierge, fallen foul of Rose. Rosemary mm. and the darkness within. And I was lucky enough to somehow get a Zoom call to the Nether Realm and have a chat with the demon assassin. Did herself. she take your soul? Uh, no, we've made an agreement on 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 how I can better. Is it kind of like myself. one of them Faustian bargains? You're you're kind of fine for now, but your eternal soul's gone. I think that's where we are. Right. I think that's. You're going to be we're... like Bart in The Simpsons, trying to roll with just <laughs> one paddle, just doing circles. She also does confirm something that I've known for a long time, and that Joe Hendry is a demon spirit, and his theme song is a form of witchcraft. Oh yeah, he's he's 100% mm. some kind of siren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she she has compelling evidence that proves that, and you'll be able to hear that on our podcast feed next week. Lovely to chat with Rosemary from TNA ahead of Emergence and Bound for Glory. Uh, but we'll end on this one. Uh, there's been a lot of reports around the future of Bobby Lashley. And his departure from WWE has been confirmed. Uh, yeah, so Bobby Lashley appeared on the Laboratory, uh, Laboratory, the lab la Laboratory podcast, the Laboratory podcast, and was asked about his current WWE status. And he said, "I had surgery. A little boo boo happened in France during a match. Just a freak accident. They told me I wasn't supposed to be back for six months. Six weeks. I have the brace off working out. My physical therapist was like, you're not supposed to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm different. I'm working out and lifting. I don't think I'm two months out of surgery.'" surgery now and I'm hitting it pretty hard. I think I'll be ready and cleared in less than a month. At that time, we'll see what happens. But yeah, WWE.com uh, have moved him to the alumni section. This is what uh, happened just after this interview. Yeah, yeah. it's... it's uh, it's it's not entirely unexpected. There'd been rumblings that there were no plans for Lashley moving forward, but it doesn't feel like Lashley's done, does it? No, not not in the slightest. So this chat with uh, with the laboratory or the lavatory. The lavatory. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a great interview, Joe. Speak to somebody while they're on the Kermit. Be like Miss NWO. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you watched our sold out 97 <laughs> reactions on the podcast feed. You'll know exactly where we're at. And we appreciate you for doing that. Uh, yeah. So him being moved from the main roster to the alumni section on WWE.com uh, is the telling point that WWE are confirming that Bobby is done. And in terms of what happens next, he said on the la on I know he said lavatory as well. On I'm the so lab. sorry. The, la the laboratory is <laughs> a brilliant show. On and the I'm laboratory. Just running it down by comparing <laughs> it to a toilet. I'm so sorry, team. Uh, Bobby revealed what his future had in store, saying, I love to be able to push myself to do things that are ridiculous. I set goals for myself every day. How far can I push myself? How much can I do? I, I want to run a marathon. 
I'm going to go try to do that pretty soon. I'll do jiu-jitsu. I'm going to try and win a world championship in jiu-jitsu. I'm going to do a boxing match. We've already talked about a boxing match. I might have an opportunity to do a boxing match. I'm boxing somebody in Vegas. There is an opponent. Is it is it weird that out of the three things, the one that strikes me, like it, it feels like jiu-jitsu will be a challenge for him that he will overcome. It feels like boxing he could do quite well at with his MMA background. Uh, but running at that size is surely going to be insane. Nightmare. But he's... But you know it's what? Got, like so much musculature. He and on this interview with uh, with the laboratory, he did look a bit trimmed down. Yeah. So potentially he's lost a bit of getting a bit muscle leaner to get a bit leaner. Yeah. In order to do a marathon or a Snickers, uh, and I I think he, do you know what? He's one of these freaks of nature in the best possible way. Well, look at his that background, just... man. Like his military background, everything. Like he he just seems like he is an absolute machine, right? Mm. So it, it, I think he's just going to succeed with anything he attempts to do but ultimately i think a lot of people are speculating that he may end up uh re-signing with another wrestling company it's been one of those things where he has walked away from the industry before but not permanently and i feel like if he's going to walk away again of course bobby lashley is uh getting on a bit but it's not like he's you know no spring chicken or anything i think that he could probably take a couple of years out come back happily uh, and go from there so i i think that there's still going to be gas left in the tank for lashley in terms of pro wrestling but I'm just excited to see what he's going to do elsewhere in the world of sports. He's going to be all over the place. And for the latest wrestling news at any time, you can check out cultaholic.com. Stay safe. Love you. Bye.